Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Good morning, I'm Double T. Special guest joining me, comedian, actor, writer, director, producer, Steve Burns. Steve, how you doing today? Good, you forgot chocolatier, by oh, the way. Oh, yes. see, I didn't know about that. What kind of chocolate are you making these days? Anything the kids want. You know, I'm ready to <laughs> shuck it. You want dark fudge, you want the good stuff, you want a little more hops, you want a little less sweet, I got you, I got you. I'm the candy man. <laughs> so is that how you get them to pay attention to you? You say, all right, I got some candy. Andy, who's ready? That's right, and uh, then you end up becoming an Amber Alert. So you don't want to you don't want to give your candy to strangers, only paying <laughs> customers. That's that's how it works. <laughs> With touring put on hold and everything, do you just gather the kids around? Okay, I've got a show to put on for you, and then you do your comedy show for them. Oh God, no! My kids, my kids know I use bad words, and, my, and they always remind me. They go, "Daddy, use bad words." I go, "These bad words keep the lights on, so you enjoy Daddy saying bad words." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, do but they do they make you have a swear job? No, no, no. Thank God, no. No, there's no swear jar. My kids, you know, my daughter's eight, and every now and then she'll try to say a bad word, and she'll say it like, you know, we she'll whisper it, and I go, I heard that, and I think it's funny. My wife does not, of course, but <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I'm a little more laid back than most dads. I'm sure you are. So this is a really exciting week for you. You have a new movie coming out, The Opening Act. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this is a film. I, I you know, after my show got canceled, Sullivan and I thought, if I'm going to write something, what do I really want to invest my time in. And I just thought, I've never seen a great film about stand-up comedy. And I was like, as an exercise, I'm just going to write it to see if I can do it. And I wrote a film about a kid's very first time ever going on the road. He moonlights as a comic, but he's in a professional environment. And so it's trial by fire. It's fish out of water. He's exposed to the light, introductions, the comedy condo, doing morning radio, all these things. And he fails miserably. And the way I always describe it is everybody in this country has been to a comedy club, but not everybody's been on the road. And that's what this film is about. It's about being on the road and expose, exposing people to what it's really like to be a stand-up comic and exposing the fact that stand-up is rooted in failure. So much of it is failure. Not <laughs> Nine times out of ten, the new jokes that we work on, they fail. They bomb. So when you see an hour special, it's a celebration of all those jokes that, that actually do work, and it takes so long to make those things. So that's really what the promise of the film is about, and I'm really proud of it. And I'll tell you from everything I'm hearing, I'm like, we made the best film about stand-up comedy. I think, I think people are going to enjoy it. You know, and just from seeing the trailer, that made me laugh out loud. So I'm really excited, and luckily I, I've gotten to know some comedians and stuff through the years, so I kind of know the behind-the-scenes thing. For the normal fan of comedy, they have no idea what's going on in the world. They don't know, um, so they're going to really be exposed in a crazy way. And, and people see this, they're going to think themselves, there's no way that that happened. That, is that real? And I'm like, it's real. Everything you see in the film happened to me. So I'm not making anything up. And the, the, the great thing about the cast, it's all comedians, right? So it's Jimmy O. Yang, Alex Moffat, Cedric the Entertainer, Whitney Cummings, Eliza Schlesinger, Kathy and Madigan, Angela Johnson, Bill Burr, Ken Jeong, Tom Segura, Russell Peters, Neil Brennan, Roy Wood Jr., and so many more. The cast has seen this film, and they all tell, tell me the same th- three things. I loved it. It was authentic, and thank you for re-triggering all those awful memories from the beginning of my career. Now I've got to go see my therapist again, so I'm, I'm very proud of that fact. <laughs> well, that's the other thing about comedians. Most comedians, they're not quite right. No, no, no. There, there's, there's, there's something wrong with a lot of us, and it's the Wild West, right? I mean, it's a, it's a crazy occupation. There's no HR. There's no boss. There's no one to tell you right or wrong. You can drink on the job. It's kind of like being an airline pilot, but you only work an hour a night, so it's, it's, it's the best. <laughs> I'm talking to comedian Steve Byrne. His new film, The Opening Act, comes out this Friday. Now, did you have any comedians that are like, no, I don't think you should let people in in our secrets? No, no. I, I think that a lot of them were very happy that this film exists because people are going to stand how how difficult and how arduous, especially at the beginning of, of this, anybody, uh, anybody's beginning of their occupation is tough. And I'm, I'm sure, like you yourself, it's very difficult. You're dealing with bad callers. You're dealing with a lot of things that we don't even think about that we take for granted. But much like a comic and much like anybody in radio, you've got to discover your voice. And you can only discover your voice after going through all those trials and tribulations and getting your teeth kicked in. And every time you get your teeth kicked in, you learn a lesson from that, and that makes you better and stronger as a performer. And I think that in some small way, we're exposing the audience to the beginning of the journey, thus the opening act, even though he is technically the opening act.
<laughs> and maybe we'll have less hecklers out there, right? No, I encourage hecklers. I love it. I love the uh, I love the battle. It's like you want to you want to bring your silver tongue. All right, come on. I, I got a microphone and twenty three years of experience, so I've been. You know, it's like being a black belt in jujitsu against some kid who just got a white belt in a strip mall taekwondo thing next to a dry cleaners. It's like <laughs> you want to do this, I'll do it with you. We'll go toe to toe. I'm talking to Steve Bird, comedian. His new film, The Opening Ag, comes out this Friday. It's Rock for Tone for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Rock for Tone for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Good morning. I'm Double T. I'm talking to comedian Steve Byrne. His new film, The Opening Ag, comes out this Friday. Movies and writing movies, was that part of what you wanted to do when you were getting started? Never. Never intended to be a stand-up comedian. And worked at a comedy club, and that's how I got into it. I was I was watching stand up. I never wanted to do it. Never never even thought of getting a job at a stand up comedy club. It's sweeping floors. And even with this, with writing and directing, I never intended to be a writer or director. I did it kind of out of necessity because you know when Sullivan and Son was on the air, my phone was never ringing off the hook. I never got opportunities. The only opportunities I've gotten have been putting pen to paper. So I did this as an exercise, but also because it's the only way I seem to get work is if I write something for myself. So, you know, the first TV show I wrote, we made. The first feature film I wrote, we made. So um, maybe I'll, I'll try to do a cure for cancer, and maybe that'll get made. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not giving myself too much credit, but it is kind of crazy to go 2-0 and in that regard. Now that you've done so many different things, is there something that you like more than the other, or is it still all equal? I got to tell you, I love stand-up comedy. I hate everything about it, but I love it. And what I mean by that is I hate traveling. I hate the airports, I hate security, I hate hotels, I hate checking in. The one hour of stand-up is what I live for. I love doing that. That's the best. But it is a profession of solitude. The older I get, I did love being on Sullivan and Son. It was great to be part of a community. And when you're doing a TV show, you're there for a whole season. You have your set. And it's fun. It's, it's a routine. But when you do a film, it is run and gun. And we were doing 10 or 12 pages a day. And the average of most films is six to seven pages a day. So that gives you some idea of how quick we were moving in 19 days. So I did enjoy the, the process of a film, but it's also like it's just out there in the ether. And at least like a, a television show, it was filmed on Warner Brothers, right? So when I drive past it, I'm like, that was our home. But this film, it's like there's all different kinds of homes because we shot scenes all over the place. So the film itself becomes its own home. I'm talking to comedian Steve Byrne. His new film, The Opening Act, comes out this Friday. And you have a bunch of great comedians part of the movie. You're filming fast, and, and you know, comedians, they like to be funny and stuff. Did you have to be dad and kind of say, okay, come on, everybody, we got to do this? <laughs> you know, you would think that would be the case with a bunch of comics, but all of them know, I think, once you see the cameras, the lights, and the responsibility of being th the purveyor of what's on the screen, script. I, most comics were awesome. I, I, I can't say there was any comic that was difficult. It was, it was a lot of fun. And the good news is like when Russell Peters and Eliza Schlesinger and Brooks Whelan and Jimmy and Alex, of course, are there to do the morning radio scene, I didn't have to tell them anything. I didn't have to describe to Russell or Eliza what it's like to be a comedian doing morning radio because they know it. So they were instantly able to just bang that scene out. And that, that, that was one of the funnest days because we had so many comics on set that day. And comics obviously keep it light. And I can't say we ever had a bad day. It was a lot of fun. See, that makes the whole process so much easier because you hear a lot of about making films and it's a lot of hurry up and wait and all this. But when you have a fun group like that, it, it makes the time go by pretty quick. Oh, my God. So quick. So much so that I, I, I felt like I'd never directed a film before. And the tw I think it was the 19th or 20th day. I was like, OK, I think I can do this now. <laughs> but it was already too late. So I learned along the way. I took my lumps and had a blast doing it. And I couldn't have done it without Vince Vaughn, Peter Billingsley, and certainly the cast and crew because they made the first time director. For me, my job so much easier. Everybody was so awesome. Now, where will people be able to watch the film, the opening act this Friday? Yeah, you could watch it in select theaters across the country, which means if you live in a red state, you can see it. <laughs> um, but otherwise, you can see it streaming VOD, Amazon, iTunes, wherever you would watch any of the streaming movies. What will you be doing on Friday? Will you be watching the movie at home or something, or will you just let it live? I live in California, and there are some drive-in movie theaters that are showing the film. 
So I think Vince, Peter, and I are going to get, I'm going to get a bottle of Jameson, and I'm going to go to that drive-in, and I'm going to get plowed in a parking lot. So (laughs) that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm so excited for this thing to come out. That is so cool. Steve Bird, his new movie, The Opening Act, comes out this Friday. Check out the trailer. It's awesome. And where can people find everything about you, Steve, if they're looking on the Internet? Yeah, you go to at Steve Byrne Live, B-Y-R-N-E, and Double T, as always, I cannot thank you enough for being so supportive. I really appreciate it, and all the best to you and yours. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing the movie on Friday. You got it, pal. Take care. You too. It's Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle.